This is MQ-9B Protector. This is a, uh, a major upgrade on what we currently have. We currently have 13 Squadron operating the Reaper. That will go out of service later this year and then our protectors will, will come to service and start operations. And the major changes with Protector over Reaper are auto land capability, that ability to operate in civilian airspace and, and fly in civilian airspace so we can project ourselves anywhere around the globe. It's largely a power glider. You can see the winglets on the end of the wing, so slightly more efficient. So with a clean configuration, as in no weapons underneath, be airborne for, for 30 hours plus. So as well as the, the traditional attack capabilities that we've seen available through Reaper, we've also got a broader surveillance capability with this aircraft. It has a synthetic aperture radar. It's like Google Maps in black and white, but it's a live image of, of what's on the ground. We also have a maritime wide area scan mode. You can use different modes with different software levels. You might see a, a blob on a screen but you use that mode and you can say, okay, that is, looks like a warship rather than looking like a 500 foot container ship. So currently, UK Reaper needs a launch and recovery crew at the location they're flying from. With Protector, all of the taxing around an airfield, as well as the actual launch and the, and the pattern work, the landing is conducted by the crew here at Waddington thousands of miles away from the airfield. Because we can fly anywhere, we've also got a, a more broad surveillance capability with this aircraft. So we could be flying over the North Sea, for instance, assisting in a, a maritime patrol task, as well as conducting the current operations that, that Reaper are undertaking in the, in the Middle East.